Welcome to the ITDVDs.com YouTube channel. This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. If you would like to see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Now let's begin the sample. In this training, we're going to go over how to deploy Windows 7 with System Center Configuration Manager 2007 R2 running in native mode. In native mode is System Center Configuration Manager's most secure mode. So first of all, we're going to go over how to install System Center Configuration Manager 2007 R2 in native mode. We're going to go over how to administer your root certificate authority, how to install a root CA, how to create and configure client certificates and deploy those client certificates with group policy. We're going to go over how to configure our distribution points and our PXE service points in System Center Configuration Manager how to configure a reference computer both manually and automatically with task sequences and then capture an image from a reference computer and using that image to deploy Windows 7 to our computers. We're going to talk about how to manage drivers in the driver catalog on our System Center Configuration Manager server and boot images, how to create and copy boot images and how to add drivers like storage drivers or network card drivers to our boot images. We're going to go over how to manage thin, hybrid, and thick images. And when is the correct situation to use one type of image over another. We're going to go over how to deploy applications during our Windows 7 deployment so that we can use a thin image and have less images to manage. We're going to spend a lot of time on user state migration during a Windows 7 deployment because in the real world, we're going to be migrating users from Windows XP and Windows Vista to Windows 7. We're not going to be just deploying a bunch of new Windows 7 computers. We're going to go over how to migrate state in a refresh or in-place upgrade scenario where we just have one computer. We don't have a new computer that we can migrate the user to. We're going to talk about hard link migration which is new with the user state migration tool 4.0 which is what our system center configuration manager 2007 R2 server is going to be using. We're going to go over how to migrate state in a replace computer scenario where we have a new computer that we're going to migrate the user to and how to migrate that user state either during deployment or after deployment. And we're going to talk about specific issues when migrating from Windows XP and also how to troubleshoot state migration issues. We're going to go over specific scenarios where we have, let's say, a slower network at a branch office or an unreliable network, and we can use bootable media or standalone media to build and deploy our operating systems in those remote locations. We're also going to talk about multicast and how that can save us on bandwidth and speed up our deployment. We're going to go over how to integrate System Center Configuration Manager with the Microsoft Deployment Toolkit 2010 Update 1, which will give us a lot of new features to help us have more scenarios to solve our different deployment issues. And then finally, we're going to go over troubleshooting our operating system deployment, all of the log files that System Center Configuration Manager and the client generate tools to view those log files, and how to troubleshoot Windows PE issues, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. 